Hi guys, Spinosaurus Reviews here and today I'm going to be doing a review on the 1996 Safari LTD Brachiosaurus. Now you can see I've got two here, um, basically because during this period Safari LTD brought out two iterations of this Brachiosaurus. You've got the first one which is this beautiful green colour scheme that's absolutely stunning. Uh, light green, well, mainly like a forest green with a dark green on top, and then covered with covered with spots. And then the underneath of this is tan. This one's a lot more solid though, so this one you can't bend the head. You can only bend the very end of the tail and the legs. You cannot bend. The only downside to this model though is it's a bit lopsided so when you've got it on a shelf it does feel like it's gonna fall over but i think they made this one like especially from the front you can see it there i think they made this one with the intention of being mainly for display i do believe rather than playability i guess you can call it if i get the other 1996 one this one has a very flexible head, very flexible tail, and even flexible legs. It's a lot more drab in colour scheme. You've got this sort of like olive, olive colour with like, like a brown, I guess on that. And then obviously like going into yellow. So I don't, really like this model too much but I do like that it stands upright uh, not upright up straight whereas this one as you can see it's really badly lopsided but I think the amount of detail in this one the green one is a hell of a lot better than what's in this one as you can see just by the head So the head on the green one, you can see the teeth. They've been done if the camera will focus on it there. There you go. So you can see the teeth have been done. Nostrils in the top of the head. Eyes have been done really well. And for how small that space is, there's not a lot of paint spill in the teeth. There's a little bit, but it's not really noticeable. And then same thing for the for the other one head still done really well there's just not that much detail in it and there's a little bit more paint spill but they have added a pupil onto this one uh, as brachiosaurus goes they're really good models you know they've got the longer front legs than hind legs which were known for brachiosaurus I think the only thing is, to me, it's probably not the case, but the tails seem way too long. The tails feel like they should stop about there for me. Um, the tails do feel a bit too long on these guys, but other than that, they're both really nice models in themselves. Definitely hands down, prefer this one. They've got painted toenails. They've got the fourth, or the first toe there, like the spiked claw. They have painted all four. Um, they did have four toes, but I think the last one wasn't a clawed toe. So the toe is there, but it didn't have a claw on it. But they've added that anyway, because I think, obviously, these were made before that kind of evidence was around. Now we know that that wasn't a clawed toe, so they only really had three clawed toes. Um, but yeah, as Brachiosaurus models go, Safari LTD have blown them out of the water, really. Uh, I do prefer this one to this one. They were both made in the same year. Um, I'm not sure if at the exact same time, uh, but I do know that these were both made in 1996 one is definitely this one here is definitely more of a statue 
more solid plastic. This one's definitely more of a soft rubber because you can't do that with that. This has a lot more flex in it. So I think this is definitely one that was possibly made for more playability, I guess. And then this one, just look at it, display statue. So yeah, that's my review. Oh yeah, one last thing, I would definitely recommend picking either one of these up. Um, I'm thinking of picking up another one of these. It's just finding them here in the UK with Safari LTD being an American company. It's quite hard to get Safari LTD dinosaurs over here, to be quite honest. Um, I had to get this guy from Germany and I got this guy in the UK, but it wasn't exactly cheap. So yeah, definitely worth a pick up if you can find them. Um, great display toys, not too oversized. There's my hand there. They're not too big. So yeah. That's my review on the Safari LTD Brachiosaurus. Please like, comment and subscribe. Bye.